Evangeline Lilly has come down decidedly against a solo Wasp film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Lilly never expected to find herself in blockbuster superhero films. She once said that she didn't expect to dive into another major franchise after previously starring in The Hobbit trilogy. But she has also admitted she loves playing Wasp and wants to continue her involvement in the MCU in one way or another. There have naturally been changes made to her character, such as updating Hope Van Dyne's fighting style between films and reimagining the armor on her suit, but Lily has made it clear that honoring the spirit of Wasp's comic book origins has always been a top priority for her, and that has much to do with her desire to skip a solo film as year related. Ant-Man 2. Evangeline Lily worked harder than Paul Rudd on stunts according to Lily. Splitting up Wasp and Ant-Man would be a huge affront to the character's comic book origins, comic book reports. Lily said at Fan Expo Boston that Wasp and Ant-Man have always been a team, and she pointed out what she perceives to be a lack of such partnerships in comic books. She believes losing Ant-Man would be a detriment to the dynamics of the film, citing the pair's friendly banter as a major draw. Her sentiments fall in line with those of writer Adam McKay, who gave a similar response to questions of a possible solo Wasp film in 2016. Lily did, however, make one exception. She would be happy to appear in a film without Ant-Man should the cast be comprised of mostly female heroes. Lily has been one of several actresses who've been pushing Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige for a female-led MCU team-up film, Captain Marvel actress Brie Larson reportedly came up with the idea and pitched it to Feige. Lily revealed that the producer was interested in the idea, but that he had not actually committed to making the project a reality. It seems quite likely that a female-driven MCU film will become a priority in the near future. The massive success for Wonder Woman, along with the excitement for Larson's Marvel, are proof of the marketability of such a film as your Marvel has recently begun to dive deeper into minority demographics and has enjoyed great success with the format. Black Panther is an example of such a film that has worked wonderfully. Marvel has been hinting at a female-driven Phase 4 for some time now and has pointed to Panther as an example of what to expect post-Avengers 4. Larson's vision fits right at home in the grand scheme of things and just makes sense as the next step for the franchise. Source. Comic book tags. Ant-Man 2 looking for an AD-free experience on screen rant.